Alright, share love to you, and we're checking out Epic Run on Core Games. This one's by creator Katithi. In this game, your goal is to be the last person standing by surviving the longest while completing obbies and teleporting to different maps. But beware, there's a red barrier that very there's a red barrier that follows you around, so you have to make sure you, that you're fast enough so you can win each round. This is a multiplayer game that offers a spectating mode and a monthly leaderboard. Alright, fair enough. Well, it's a lot of reading, a lot of words to get out of my mouth. But we got the barrier about to move, and we're going to see if we could get a high enough score to make the, the leaderboard here. So you can see right up top in the middle our score is going up already. So fairly easy uh, to understand. Nothing too difficult going on, it's more or less straight and all deep. Don't want to land in the water here. Uh oh, there I go, landed in the water. All right, well, if you, if first you don't succeed, try, try again. It's a pretty cool picnic area over here. We got some toadstools with a, a waterfall. I don't know what's up up there. Doesn't give you a lot of time to get up there. We could try maybe next time we hit the lobby. But you pretty much have to start doing it right away. So we will see. So a couple different options. You could go through the middle there. Or you could go up the sides. Oh yeah, into the winter zone we go. Uh oh, a freezing. How fitting. Get to the winter zone and freeze. And I guess the red barrier must have got us there. Well that was unfortunate. And uh, the timer is going down. We got, got no time to explore up there. Alright, look at that red barrier just waiting to get us. So I feel like uh, maybe like a game like this, if there's any lag, it kind of really could ruin your game experience. But when it runs smooth, you know, it's quite a bit of fun. Alright, this is a pretty cool map. I like this little cityscape here. Let's make sure we get landed properly here. Oh my goodness. No room for air there, that red barrier just ate, took our lunch money. Definitely doable, we will see.
far so good. Let's keep up this pace. Oh, don't get tripped up. went on the side there instead of the middle. Had to react just a little bit faster. Alright. I'm optimistic. We might we might move up the leaderboard here. Pretty cool mix of levels, and I like how it kind of randomizes so you don't know what you're gonna get. And uh, speeds up gradually. So even though you're going back through the same levels, you're going at a faster pace, so you have to react differently. I'm not mistaken, Katithi also worked on Escape Shark Hotel from the Shark Jam not too long ago. Which was another fun game that was also maybe a bit of this style of it going on. So definitely a creator that knows how to make these hobbies. It's so slow it feels like after playing it for a while because you get, go get used to going that faster speed and then it's like starting over oh my goodness oh see we got lagged out there just for a second that's all it takes yeah so I mean when that happens it could be very frustrating that's why I was saying you your experience could definitely vary in games like this, depending on the server's mood. But so far the environments are pretty cool. Um, you know, not very big, it's all wall walled in. But that allows you to concentrate a lot of detail and, a, and you know, keep your, your work at a realistic level. We can see the other areas over there. You 
You know, good good use of uh, audio too. I enjoy that the audio is constantly changing. You know, like this track's pretty catchy, but if you had to listen to it over and over, you'd probably get fed up of it because it's too high energy. But when you have a a variance, like look, this is very chill now. Got that chill winter vibe music going. It's a little tricky to judge because you're always going through the levels at a different speed. So jumps that you would normally be able to make in one run are going to be different the next run. Like there, I thought it would have landed on the on the big horizontal plane, and instead I almost landed on the next little round island and hit the water instead. tricky you can't jump over those railings there so there's no way to shortcut it so when I, if you get that level in the later areas it's gonna be tricky to get through we'll see oh hit the lava oh no my dead body went flailing into the air Oh, there's a cabin over here. Cabin in the woods. Well, those candles are pretty loud, eh? Crackling. spot should have learned my lesson but at the middle path is definitely not easier it's very narrow in there and if you jump up too high you actually hit your head into the lava so yeah very tricky later on that for, you know they start you out on this area and it's easy the first couple of times but if you get it to it later in your run Is, what, what, we'll go through the middle, see if there's a, an easier way to do it. Let's see, there's all these holes. I guess you don't have to jump that way. Wow. Wow, we. It's not quite how I planned that one out. Alright, let's see. I guess we'd have to 
this is the lowest one we could get to. Well, <laughs> I knew I knew as, as soon as I jumped that second time, I had gone horribly wrong. Something was amiss. So yeah, I mean, the timer kind of goes off at zero, the barrier doesn't, takes a second to go away, which is like, kind of weird. So there are some little buggy things with this game, but overall I think it works pretty good, and as long as the lag doesn't hit you. It's a fun time. I like that vine trellis. Or whatever it was, we just went under in there. Oh, I'm gonna die on the water. Oh my goodness. It's like you wanna take your time at some parts. But then, when the red barrier kills you, it makes you nervous to take your time, so. Here we go. Top of the board. Top of the morning to ya, governor. This is the run. The epic run. there too I don't. is that like a, a core animation that has falling leaves hmm I don't know if I've ever seen that before I like that stepped into the white light. It's not my time yet. Uh, the server lagged on us when we were we should have been teleport in there. And then the red barrier must have got us. We didn't see it, but oh we felt it. We died good. Alright, well So a lot of things gotta line up for you, right? Because not only do you have to be on your game, the server has to cooperate. Like that last run was not fair.
What is going on here? we just see the red barrier ahead of us? How does the red barrier work? Hmm. Ooh, we got lucky there. We almost got our head chopped off by lasers, I think. Oh my god. We are going at a blistering pace now. Oh, did the barrier just get us? It did. No. Where were we at? We were at 65, we needed 66. Oh my goodness. Well, technically, we needed 67, but... Wow. Wow we wow wow. This kind of annoys me how the barrier is flashing like that. I mean it's a little thing, but it's probably not too difficult to fix. And I mean considering <clears throat> it's right at the beginning of your game. You know that's one of the first things somebody's going to notice waiting to start your level. Or your levels in this case. Shark HD. Yeah, so that was the that was the team that made Escape Shark Hotel. I had a lot of fun with that one. Stretch after that one. Oh my goodness. Alright. I'm going in for one last try. And then we're moving on. I'm getting it. I'm getting that feeling it's time to move on to the editor. 
do some creating on my own. But definitely a fun game, and I could see uh, it being a good multiplayer game, you know, racing with your friends. Well, recording stopped, but I did not get it that last run. So we'll do we'll do one more run. So I'd like to, you know, get a full run and end with some closing words. Yeah, that really bugs me. our head chopped off by a laser. Oh. I guess we could stay for one more round since we have somebody that joined us. Obliquey. Looks like from France. like this person must have played this before because they're doing pretty good. Pretty far ahead of us right now. Oh, Blicky. 75 they have. 
Pretty good. Kind of reminds me of Death Run, but plays a bit similar to this. There's also, um, what is it, Death Wall also on Core that plays a bit like this. Both pretty cool games. So definitely they seem to take the middle route, but I don't I don't know, I don't know about that middle route. Fell to pieces there at the last second. Oh, my score's still going. Oh, look at that. How does that work? Is that gonna... <laughs> Is that actually gonna count on the leaderboard? I wonder. Or would that... That's probably what Oblicky was getting. Was that before he died? Okay, that kind of makes sense. Alright, we're start we're we're getting there. We're getting closer. This, this person's definitely giving us a good run for our money. Making us focus a little harder, which is always fun. tight in there with those lasers when you're moving fast. Well, definitely a fun game. So yeah, I definitely suggest this one. New, new to core just came out. 
Um, still on the new games list, so Epic Run by Creator Katithi. Check it out, Encore Games. Share love out. Till next time.